any non-primitive variable that you have will hold, it holds references to objects. So here we have name of type string. That string's not a primitive. So name can be pointing to, can uh, have a reference to some sort of object out in memory. Well, with these variables of non-primitive type, we're allowed to use a special operator, the, the dot operator, to maybe call methods on that object. So here we have James Gosling stored into name, and we want to retrieve the length of that string. So we call the length, the length method on the name object using that dot operator to invoke it. One of the nice things about Eclipse is that anytime you do, I'll just type it in here, string name equals James Gosling. There we go. Anytime you do uh, type in the name of a variable and put a dot, Eclipse goes ahead and gives you uh, hints as to what it thinks you might want to use. And it, I think it remembers that we've done equals, ignore case, uh, equals, and length already. So it pulled those up to the top of the list. Uh, there's some percentages here. Maybe it's remembering from what other people are doing. I, I'm not sure. Maybe that's what those percentages are. Uh, anyway, in my case, I want to call the length. And so if I type in the letter L, okay, here's length. And we push enter semicolon. And now it can display for us how many characters are in that string, James Gosling. So anytime you use the dot, uh, Eclipse can give you a list of potential matches, things that you can call on that object. If it doesn't give you the list, hit control space, control in the space bar, and it'll show you um, more choices, show you any options that you might have. And as you type, it narrows those down, push enter, and it'll fill it in for you. So folks, I just paused the video and did a quick, uh, quick look up. I just did a quick Google. I want to know what those, that, that percent sign, that percentage meant next to the code complete. I'd never seen that before. Well, that's a feature in Juno, apparently. I did a quick Google search, Eclipse control space percent, <laughs> I guess is uh, what I was looking for. And, uh, and Stack Overflow came up. I mentioned Stack Overflow, or I think I did, in the suggested references. A uh, great resource. You can ask questions and get back responses to those questions. So somebody said, hey, what are those percentages all about? And the response is, Eclipse thinks uh, with that much of a percentage of certainty that what we're looking for is that particular method. So uh, in our case, let me go back and say, uh, what was it, name dot control space. It was 7% sure that we were trying to do an equals but 6% sure we're doing a substring, et cetera. And so it had, it's trying to guess based on the context we're at and how, what we've done in the past as to what we're trying to call. And in our case, we actually wanted to do the length, or at least that's what I was looking to do. I hadn't seen that before. Uh, interesting. Uh, Google's your friend. Feel free to do that to do research. If you come upon Stack Overflow, usually the answers are pretty good out there. Okay. So uh, we're talking about using the dot on any old object and accessing things like methods on it. Well, that same dot operator can be used on something like an array to get to any fields stored in the array. For whatever reason, they didn't use a method, they used a field, but days.length allows us to access how, how many elements are in the array, what that size is that you specified when you first created it. So dot operator, anytime you have yourself a non-primitive, you can put a dot after the variable and potentially call methods, access fields, do stuff with that. Uh, one quick uh, gotcha here. Uh, there's a special value called null that you can have your non-primitives uh, pointing to. The problem is that if you attempt to call a method or access a field on a null, it throws a really ugly, nasty runtime exception called a null pointer exception. You're not allowed to call something on null. Uh, Eclipse does give us a warning if it can, so there's a little warning. Uh, variable can only be null at this location. It, it, Java considers this to be an error at runtime, not a compiler issue, but Eclipse is trying to warn us at compile time that we have an issue here. So that was the last point. You might get a null pointer exception if you haven't set your value to your variable to some actual value before you use it. Again, like I mentioned before, lots more to be said. 
about objects, about fields, about methods. This is just our first little look at it. So if this is kind of going over your head, don't worry about it. We've got future chapters. We've got lots more content to come, and, and we'll, we'll get this all, uh, all under our belts. We'll, we'll be fine, I promise.